Welcome to ILA Solutions here at IPC Apex. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by Bob Drake, who's the uh, North America and Canada sales manager. Correct. Yeah. Thank you, Trevor. Good to see you again. Yes, of course. Now, of course, the most obvious thing since we last spoke, Bob, is there's been a name change. Mm -hmm. uh, why have we changed our name to ILA uh, Solutions? Sure. Uh, ILA Solutions is a joint venture of Apex Factory Automation and Interlat of Mexico. So now we cover Mexico, uh, U.S. and Canada with sales and service, and we've uh, got a tremendous uh, 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 exposure to the market for people in both markets with sales, service, and applications engineering uh, covering yeah, well, the market. Right. That's a big increase in territory for sure. Um, let's turn our attention to the equipment side. I mean, you, you typically represent a lot of the leading Korean brands, uh, and the one behind us here, for example, is SJ Inatech. Uh, this is the HP 520E. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, this is a new model we're introducing at the show. It's our lowest cost, uh, but yet fully functional high-end printer uh, features at an economical price, including three-zone uh, conveyor, automatic conveyor width, load cell support, 2 SPI, lead screw-driven camera uh, uh, positioning system, so very high-end uh, features suitable for 24-7 operation at a very economical price. Wow, so this is your entry level machine? Yes, yes, entry level, yeah, yeah. And you go from there, we have a lot of different sizes and lengths up to 1.5 meter long uh, capability. Right, yes, because I remember you do the, 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 the long ones for the LED manufacturing and that type of thing. A couple years ago at the show, indeed, yep. So, um, so uh, what else do you have on, on the booth here today? Sure, we're also introducing the um, Zavis C080 parts counter, x-ray parts counter. A very uh, accurate machine, it has a 17 inch square FPD, which is the detector that reads uh, through the parts uh, to count them accurately. Um, this system uh, is suitable down to 0105s, very small parts with 99.9 .9 to 100% accuracy. Um, some of the other machines use line scans that move and take more time, so right. this system is a very robust, uh, high quality solution for uh, automated parts counting. And using a flat panel display, you're going to get sharper images yeah. and that type of thing? No movement at all in the system uh, once you slide the, the machine, uh, slides the parts into the uh, x-ray area. Right. Okay. Um, what's the cycle time like? Cycle time per a 7-inch reel is 9 seconds. Uh, for, we can do 4 at a time. It's about 20 seconds for 4. We could also do 13 and 15-inch reels as well. And we can also do uh, basic circuit boards if somebody wants to look uh, at uh, simple BGA bridging and uh, ball missing detection. It's not going to replace a full quality 2.5D machine. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do trays, tubes, strips of tape, you know, any kind of thing that could be put in the, in the stage. And can it be married up with a, uh, a storage tower or something like that? So we, uh, we uh, supply it with a uh, barcode scanner and a printer so you can print labels right at the machine. Uh, we can hook that up to a storage system or to the ERP system directly to automatically and immediately update parts counts in the ERP systems. Okay, that's fine. So you've also, uh, one of the bigger ranges you've got is the, the Marae pick and place range. And you've got a, an example on the booth here of the odd form placement uh, machine. Yep. What's unique about that? Well, the Murray MAI, which is in the uh, far, far corner, is um, the, really a class leading, we feel best in class, odd parts insertion machine. Uh, we have a, available clinching, uh, ability to feed from bowl feeders. We have up to five levels of stacked bowl feeding, so high density component feeding for uh, bulk parts. Uh, we have axial and radial feeders, tube changers, and all those, uh, uh, all that tooling, including gripper nozzles, are built by Murray. So we don't use a third party. So the buck stops here, and we can supply a complete soup to nuts solution for our customers. Um, we have four, six, eight, and twelve head machines, so we can automate uh, at very high speed compared to many of the other robotic systems that are typically one or two heads. And we can uh, dedicate grippers to each head so we don't have to do nozzle changes if you have a variety of different components. We really, we really feel it's the best in class solution for our parts insertion. What's the uh, maximum component size then? So 55 over 55 millimeters. Uh, we can do uh, uh, press inserts as well, up to 147 newtons, and we monitor the force control during that process. 
Well, that was going to be my next question, the, the, the force control you can do on the Z height. Uh, the, what sort of um, Newton force can you get on that? Up to 140. The standard head is 47 Newtons. Uh, the high force insertion head is 147 Newtons. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, some of those parts are big. We're, we're doing a project for a major uh, Tier 1 CEM that's we're placing uh, dim sockets, which are over four inches long and require force insertion into the board uh, for the pins, and uh, we can do that with this new head. Great. Well, Bob, there's a, a lot happening here on ILA Systems uh, and, uh, of course, the new partnership. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us today, and uh, good luck with the, the, the new uh, partnership with Interlatin. Thank you very much, Trevor. Good to see you again.